Detroit. It's got the reputation of murder capital of the world. And, and I didn't even do it on purpose. You know, I didn't walk up and shoot somebody. You just don't walk away after you've killed a man. I don't care for what reason, whether it was a drunken brawl or whether it was for racial means or whatever. You just don't absolutely go and beat a man to death with a baseball bat. Neitz and Ebens were both charged with killing Vincent Chin. I spoke with some of his neighbors, asked for reaction. They're really good people, and it could happen to anybody. Mr. Ebens was standing over him with a baseball bat. He had it with both hands. He swung the bat as if a baseball player was swinging for a home run. He was an oriental gentleman. His skull was obviously fractured. There was brains laying on the street. Anybody who takes the time to look at that, I think, can only conclude that there was racial motivation in this killing. I'm no racist. I've never been a racist. I've never had anything against anybody in this whole world. When it started, America was unprepared. From across the ocean, they came little cars. We are being shot at and shot up by the Japanese, who have the most protectionist economy in the world. This is the coming thing, and there's no way in hell we can stop it. It's going to be like Japan. What's their wages over there? A dollar an hour or some damn thing yeah. like that? I said, if I were president of the United States for two months, I said I'd fix the Japanese like they've never been fixed. Well, to be quite honest, I expected to go to jail. And in what outraged the Asian community, both escaped a 15-year prison term. Instead, they were placed on three years probation and given a $3,000 fine. Justice for Vincent Chin! And I just felt all of the blood and feeling in my body leave me. I just couldn't believe that this had happened. The FBI has told CNN Detroit that it now plans an investigation into the beating death of Vincent Chin for possible civil rights violations. How could you feel as a mom? Evans and Nitz now face arraignment in federal district court and will stand trial on charges they conspired to violate the civil rights of Vincent Chin. If convicted, both face life terms in prison. Was it a case of racism or a barroom brawl? That's the question now for a jury of seven women and five men to decide. Do you think this trial would have occurred had not your group and, and other Asian Americans gotten involved and brought pressure to bear here? I don't think any civil rights trial occurs unless there's pressure. All the appeals are over with. This is it. Uh, Ron Liebens is a free man as of tonight. Please, I want everybody. I want justice for my son.